नमस्ते वेलकम टू मैथ विदुषी पूर्ण प्रज्ञा डॉट इन इनफाइनाइट पॉजिबिलिटीज वेन यू नो योर इनहेरेंट पोटेंशियल हेल्प पेरेंट्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स टू एड्रेस क्वेरीज ऑन स्टडीज एजुकेशन कैरियर स्कूल्स पेरेंटिंग एंड बुक्स एंड इवन हॉबीज एंड एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज टूडे लेट एस लुक एट द फैक्ट दैट इट इज डिसम्बर and uh, the exam countdown has begun when someone reaches his goals we applaud them don't we say oh he's so lucky or she is a genius but do you understand that you are only looking at the tip of the iceberg an iceberg that is far far bigger inside the water and we are looking only at the top of it a genius becomes a genius after 10000 hours of hard work we see the success but we didn't we do not see all the other factors that is the foundation of the person's success has the person reached the top due to luck no his family has encouraged him his environment has given him opportunities he is aware of his strengths so he uses his strengths to reach his goal do you think anyone is successful without strategy planning starting early and picking up opportunities on the way and what about sheer hard work practice determination and perseverance so create a sense of purpose understand how getting success will help you reach your long term goals ask for help from your parents teachers and friends be motivated so how do you start revision for your upcoming exams start by asking these questions to yourself how much time do i have how can i spread out my revision how can i vary the subjects i revise in a single day have i removed all my distractions can i mix up and answer different types of questions what are the chapters i am already confident about do i know the syllabus the marking scheme and the question paper pattern what are the topics and subjects i need to give more time to and then who can i ask to help me plan a revision strategy so now you have exactly 2 months to go start your revision early 2 months is a good time to start revision so you should have finished studying your syllabus at least once before this have you start now During revision these are the questions you are going to ask yourself have i done practicing past years papers and sample papers who can quiz me on this topic if you have a difficult topic it is always better if you explain the topic to somebody or you get somebody to explain it to you so ask these questions who can quiz me on this topic can i explain this to someone health is very important both physical and mental health so am i eating healthy am i keeping myself hydrated am i sleeping right am i getting enough fresh air am i feeling good emotionally is my stress under control who can i talk to about my stress how can i handle my stress so these are the questions you need to ask yourself and find answers to again if you come to me with these answers I'll be able to do a personalized plan on this. So, exam countdown has begun. How to use your time efficiently? With 2 months to go, learn and understand all the topics. Check syllabus, check the mark distribution and the question paper pattern. With 1 month to go. So now you have only 1 month. Teach tougher topics to your friends. practice sample papers and past question papers ask clarification from experts in uh, the respective topics okay two two weeks to go clear doubts for your friends and learn further practice formulas and numericals check out how to write the answer uh, perfectly uh, so that you can maximize the marks you get in the answer one week to go buy any stationery items required don't forget that practice the papers where you made many mistakes the night before the exam 
pack your bags make arrangements for travel to exam do some last minute revision and don't forget to sleep morning of the exam reach early have breakfast spend time with positive people and keep yourself calm take deep breaths now let us look at some do's and don'ts start your revision early with at least 2 months to go do not cram in the last two days practice lots of previous years question papers and sample papers do not just revise only the key notes or the class notes revise in a quiet environment do not revise while listening to music or tv put your phone away during studies do not revise with a phone next to you i have a video i'll put up in the i card above it tells you six reasons why you need to put your phone away during exams so if you're not convinced please go to the video watch it and put your phone away have only positive thoughts if you have any negative thoughts you can discuss them with your parents or keep a diary do not dwell on the worst case scenario and lose concentration during your studies and revision eat healthy drink water exercise fresh air regular bedtime these are very important to keep your mind and body strong and your immune system strong do not skip breakfast do not skip sleep do not eat junk food don't be cooped up and play on phone during your breaks go out have some fresh air go for a walk meet friends during your planned breaks maybe you have studied all the lessons already maybe you are confident about your success but maybe you have not started at all but don't worry it is not too late start now make every single day count from today till your exams i know that we have been talking about guidelines questions to ask yourself timelines do's and don'ts but you are a unique person the answers to all your questions on all the topics and exams will be as unique so if you still need further help uh, than this to plan out your revision please let me know in the comments or visit www.poonapragya.in please check uh, www.poonapragya.in/testimonials for details on how students have benefited from personalized advice so please visit poonapragya.in for personalized detailed advice on revision plans studies careers education hobbies and extracurricular activities because no two children are the same and no two students are the same please subscribe to math vidushi for more such student and math related information thank you